a former world dance oh! opponent is the world number 13 with seven PDC titles to his name. From Bradford, England, it's Rockstar Joe Carlo! Well, second game of the night. We've just seen the Premier League and Masters champion Johnny Clayton dumped out of the tournament. It is now the turn of the number one seed, Joe Cullen, to try and avoid a similar fate. We've seen some seeded players go. Mensor Sulevich out. Ratajski out. Devin Peterson out. Dirk van Dijvenbode gone. That's half of the seeded players this afternoon. And the first one we've seen in action tonight going to be Cedargeddon here in Budapest or is Joe Cullen going to do what he's done so many times rock up on the Saturday of a Euro tour bang in the performance of the day and cruise through to the last 16 some Rolls Royce Joe Cullen stuff all the signs point to the fact it could well happen because he's played magnificently over the last few months and that is why he is the number one seed but Gert De Vos the Belgian Saw off here at Nenche 6-2 yesterday, and we know he's got a top-level performance in his locker. Perhaps for don't see it as often as you'd like. first, game on. Paul Nicholson alongside me for the second game of the night. It is the top seed, Joe Cullen, the rock star against the Fox. Good evening, Dan, and good evening, everybody. 140. I had a chat with Lloydie earlier, and we were looking at possibilities of seeds going out. Well, we agreed that maybe... This one had a possibility of that because we understand that Piet de Vos has got that high level of performance. I was looking at their personal best averages, Dan. There's not a lot between them. In fact, Joe de Vos is... the Grand Slam, is that what you're going to tell me? Correct. Mm. 113.86. 134. And then for Cullen, 113.77. So less than a tenth of a point between their best performances. But uh, admittedly, Joe has put in more of them over the course of the last six years. Yeah. It's, it's just, uh, just the amount of times you see him on the Euro Tour go and average 107, 108, 106, you know, around there, just that you are brilliant. 140. He's for a benchmark. Here to require 140. Look no further than Nathan Aspinall in game eight this afternoon. He was fantastic. The boss needs a 60. 60. Joe, you require 127. Total. So, 127 and game. And game. Not quite. 96. Here to require this 80. Where some players love to go tops, tops. Ooh. Stay safe single, I would say. But his dart's kinked to the left. As that camera shows, it opens up 60. the top's bed a little bit. Do you require 51? Did look pretty difficult. Not close, that one. But he does like double four normally. He's just going to reset and go through the whole process. 27. He cannot find the double. Here you require 20. But Gert De Vos can be the first to get a leg on the board. Should be. That'll be kind, that. Game from the first leg. Here the De Vos. Second leg joke to throw first. I have to say, I think you touched on it in match one. What about the order from this crowd? 140. Yeah, good, they? There's a lot of silence in here for so many people. And I think the real test is when their favourite graces the stage which is snake right yeah we will see and of course you know they haven't got any Hungarian players to share for I, I would have been fascinated to see one of the Hungarian you know if Janos Vaj managed to pin one of those match darts and he was playing tonight so it would be fascinating to see what two and a half thousand fans would have been like but this they're just I don't know 60 
just getting used to the whole thing. I've not heard many sort of Hungary specific chants going around the hall so far, but when you have 4,000 tomorrow, then might be a Yeah, maybe a very different kettle of fish. If indeed they have fish kettles in Hungary. 100, do you the gourmand, Nicholson. Good tussle with Ross Smith, one where I genuinely thought that the seeded player was in genuine danger, and he was. One hundred. He managed to get the job done, Rob Cross. As Colin pins his second 180, and are we about to see him start moving through gears for a, a real Euro Tour Saturday Joe Cullen display? It's almost forgotten that Joe Cullen 57. is the last person to win one. Mm. International Darts Open last year where he beat Michael Van Gerwen for a second time in a final. Yep. So, let's face facts. He only wins Euro Tours if he beats MVG. 39. But that was at the end of October 2020. Wow! There's a third one in the match. And that was... 314 days ago. It's been too long. And the Euro Tour is back and it is back. Do you spectacular style here in Hungary this weekend. 16 segments, now double eight. 12 guards out, Joe Cullen motoring now. Like two Jones, legs, two one, back to back in 25 darts. I'm not going to go any further. Game on. Here, tribute to that treble 16. That was as good a treble 16 as you will ever see. It was so central. It was basically the eye of the storm in that shot. Magnificent. 100. 84 out. Under no pressure, admittedly, but still got to execute it. Oh my God. I know. Look, we're only in the fourth leg, but let's, let's do it, shall we? Go on. Show, show us the averages. Right? Show us the averages. Come on. Come on. Just coax the averages down to. Out the side of the scoreboard. 93. Come on. Iranu. No, no, is or is it Uvavu? Okay, well, we've asked nicely. We'll do it Do it another way. Show us the averages. Come on, Dutch lads. 41. Press the buttons. There we go. Thank you. 110. It's a Saturday on the Euro Tour. It's back. Joe Cullen's doing Joe Cullen things. 45. Well, the Voss has not scored well in the last couple of legs. That's why Joe has had so much wiggle room. He hasn't needed it. But this is where Johnny Clayton failed in the last match. He was leaving bogey numbers from 263, but these are 59. not the mistakes that Joe makes. No. Going 19s on that second dart gave him two chances, really. You go back to the 60 like he did, or he could have gone to the 18 to leave the 170. And as great as Johnny Clayton is, 81. his pal Joe Cullen is a bit more astute when it comes to approach play. Yeah, well, I mean, at times this year, One on the Pro Tour, as Cullen hits his fourth 180 in this match already, it, it's been like a carve-up between the Ferret and, and Joe Cullen, particularly at the start of the 100. year, it was only those two guys winning. Joe, you require 24. And often they were meeting in finals. Two sixes. Games on the Very positive Joe stuff Cullen. from the rock star. Like and the he's human. Game Let's on. put it out there, because, yes, he's had a fantastic 2021. He's now got seven senior PDC titles, including, of course, those two European Tour titles. But he's had the same hiatus from the European Tour as everybody else. Mm -hmm. He's probably got the same nerves, a little bit of trepidation maybe coming onto the stage this evening. Well, I mean, Joe Cullen, remember, I mean, we, there was a lot made of Gerwin Price missing out on the Premier League, and he didn't 68. travel to that uh, Super Series in Niedenhausen. So he went three months without playing and he does. Joe Cullen did the same. He wasn't in the Premier League anyway. 140. And he didn't go to Niedenhausen for the travel. So he missed out on, on literally months of competitive action. And what did we see? The very first event back, they played each other in the final. And hey, look, 180. Joe Cullen is, is a winning machine. He is at the minute. And after winning his first PDC senior title in 2017. I think he admitted after getting the second one. Pretty soon after that, he found it difficult to get the next one. But that 
that victory in Mannheim for me. 43. I think that opened a window into what will be the rest of his career. Well, he is so, so long. People have said, oh, Joe Cullen, he could be 38. the man. It looked like he'd done a you know, European semi-final. It was after he'd won those first two titles. European Championship semi-final, a quarter-final at the match play. Level. He thought he made it. He thought, yeah, I'm well done. But the, the hard work needs to carry on. And it took him a little while to realise that. He is putting in the hard graph now. And uh, the, this is what happens. One Success comes when you're this talented and you put the work in and everything's going right for you. Good things happen. And I believe that even better things are going to happen for Joe Cullen over the next few months and years. What will do is doing all 40. the correct leg work. Scoring wise, can't fault this performance. Two tens, four one. Twenty. But that is a mistake. Here's it gives DeVos a chance to get closer. It does, but he's got to get a treble here. Oh well, it doesn't matter. He's having a bit of a mare. Is get Do you require twenty? Averaging in the mid seventies. Not going to do it against Cullen, Game shot even when he is missing doubles. But just to go back to your point, Dan, about the trajectory of Joe's career, we've seen Six him like to heartbroken Game at on. times. I will never, ever forget what he was like when he lost in the semi-finals in Graz, the year that Johnny Clayton won. I genuinely one thought at that point that he was going to go one of two ways. He was going to take that on the chin and move on, or it was going to ruin him. 180. What a start to leg six. And happily for Joe, 57. he went the right way because he was crestfallen when he lost in that semi. He genuinely thought that that was his for the taking. Well, I mean, uh, so 140. in quarterfinals and semi finals of the European. So he should have won one, one or two before he actually did. But now he's figured out how to do it. What's the record for 180s in a European tour match? Because Joe Cullen's got six now. He's going to have to go some to get to double figures, which he need to to get the record. But it does not take away from an absolutely spellbinding performance as he looks at the ball. Can't get much closer without hitting it. It almost looks like it moves when he touches the wire. Well, 12 for that ball. So can DeVos hit it? 44. There's your answer. Do you require 25? Tidy it up. A little bit close to the treble nine, which would have bust his score, and he knows it. That is not where the dart was supposed to go. This one is supposed to go in double eight. And this one. Nine. I think that first dart Here's might have put him off. It took him out of rhythm. And his thought process changed in a flash. Only just getting the five there, kid DeVos. But he takes the lead. He does box. get back within two. Full credit to him. But in order to win legs from Joe Cullen, two, so he's needing mistakes. Yeah, well, Joe, 25% on the doubles. We saw from Johnny Clayton that even if you're outscoring your opponent, One you can continue to miss and miss and miss, you can make yourself vulnerable. He's been doing all the running in this game, Joe Cullen. 57. He missed three darts to win the first leg and lost it. He's missed three darts to win that last leg and lost it. This could genuinely have been a 6-0 whitewash. The disparity between the first nine averages there tells a huge story. That's almost where I would expect Joe to be when he's playing well. Around the 1-1-5. One, one, but the 96 is par for the course because for the entire season, he's averaging 96.2. So this is standard fare. Yeah, I mean, I think if he'd finished anything like, we would be seeing one of those one Joe Cullen Saturday Euro Tour performances with seven 180s in six and a half legs. Well, seven legs. He's not going to hit another one in this one. That He's going for something that we don't see 60. very often. Joe, you require 160. 340 plus and six. There goes that chance. There's a small two, so that makes it a bit awkward, but the last dog gets him out of jail. Everybody tries to leave the tops tops on the end of those 139. Now. Do you require like the 83? Thought process of that. But Cullen, not looking at tops. 
Now we're looking at the bullseye again, though. Gets the double nine shot. 65. Another miss and another chance for DeVos. 30 requires 78. Yeah, they're the things that will have annoyed him. All those 80 odd shots. He's getting darts. Game and he's not shot pinning the, the double. Yeah, DeVos. DeVos gets a, a nice little there. treble to double combo. And somehow there's only one leg between him in this match, despite the fact that oh, it would have been an eighth, 180, ridiculously, from Joe Cullen. Only the one from Foxy. But where do you expect DeVos to be? 83. Now, bearing in mind, he did get his tour card earlier this year, so he's got roughly a year and a bit to maintain his spot in the top 64. But where do you expect Foxy to be I, at the end of next year's world? I genuinely do not know. When I've seen it, you, you're right. It, when he plays well, he looks brilliant. But at the same time, I've seen a lot of ordinary displays. I don't know how regularly we're going to see him playing well enough to be picking up money. Now, I, I certainly see him keeping his talk on. I mean, he may not you know, win one of these events. It can happen. 100. But I, I, ge I genuinely don't know. He is a bit of an enigma to me, Kurt DeVos. Yeah, I agree with that. And I have to look at some of his performances 99. to try and remind myself of how good he is. I mean, qualifying, he beat Scott Mitchell and Chris Dorby. Oh, good That's wins. very, very confidence-boosting. And, of course, 77. Mr. Neches, in round one, no mug either. Tops. Game oh, shot here we go. Joe Cullen. 100 checkout for Nine Joe Cullen will make him feel a little Game bit on. more comfortable. I mean, look. Gert De Vos, he's, um, he's won stuff, he's won big 60. titles played in the WDF system. And yeah, that's, that's not an easy thing to do. But then I also think to another 57. European talent who had a few years playing PDC darts, oh, I used to love watching, I thought you can be really good, I know you can because I've seen you. And it just didn't happen often enough and he ended up uh, dropping off the tour. And that's Jeffrey de Graaf. That's who we beat in the World Trophy Final. Exactly, yeah. Weirdly, last person to beat me in a European tour match. Thanks for the reminder, Dan. Yeah. One hundred and loves Jeffrey Duran. Oh, it's nice to see some young people in the crowd tonight, enjoying their time here at the Pap Laszlo. One hundred. Right about the graph. I think a lot of people thought he was going to really make it. It just didn't work out that way. But it's Foxy's turn. He's waiting his time. One hundred and eight. But Joe doesn't wait too long to get one eighty number eight. 180s and nine legs. 140. Joey stuff, 124. Can he wrap it up with a 124 checkout? And for all his problems on the doubles, Game he has finished the match, the match with back-to-back -back plus checkouts. Joe Cullen, a hundred average, a six-three win. Not his top level, but the top seed doing more than enough to see off the Belgian and book his place in the last sixteen. It'll be a mouth-watering clash with Rob Cross as they fight out for a spot in the quarterfinals tomorrow. We now turn our attention to an all-Australian clash. Damon Hetta and Simon Whitlock going head to head. It'll be uh, from our Australian World Cup star Paul the Ascent himself. Ladies and gentlemen, into the last 16, the rock star Joe Cullen. Joe, we've got to start with the obvious. How lovely to have people there to. This but the double was weren't very good, but. Gert, Gert didn't perform, he didn't really put me under much pressure. Um, he's a far better player than that, but on the night, that's good enough for me. Rob Cross coming up tomorrow, I think. Uh, Hungarian fans in for a treat. Colin against Cross, that doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a great game. Uh, Rob's starting to play some good stuff again, like we know he can. Um, and obviously, I'm playing you know, all right at the minute, so we'll see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see him once again tomorrow, the rock star, Joe Cullen. And